everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have another diamond painting unboxing for you. This one has been sitting in my room for quite some time now but I'm ready to unbox it today. So join me if you'd like to have a look. This diamond painting comes from Diamond Painting Factory and I will have all the details down below. I haven't had a look at their site lately so um Maybe I should have done that before I started this video. Anyway, real life, hi! How are you doing? <laughs> Today, this week, is an amazing week weather-wise here in Ireland. So, um, you know, it's just been kind of like sitting in the garden weather, which has been nice, I have to say. Now, quick backstory on this company before I get really deep into it. Um, I did order from them last year. I opened it and I was making a video of my unboxing and there were a few problems, um, namely the drills. The drills were not very good. Um, so I messaged the, the seller back and forth for a while and there's Luna. Go ahead and lay down, join me. And um, anyway, they said that they were intending on improving their product anyway. Uh, is there another one that I would like? And I said, yes, of course, definitely. I'll give it another shot. Why not? So here we go. And it looks like they've gone f full uh, poured glue, which is awesome. So that is how it comes in the box. This is, let me just take out the drills and stuff. I know they're in the middle. It's quite a large painting, actually. So we've got all the drills here. And the painting. It's a 50 by 75 centimeter and the image is this snow leopard which is really beautiful. I don't know why the the printing on the canvas is kind of you know coming off there but uh and please don't mind my dirty nail. I don't know how I think that came from the box. Anyway um this is the painting. Let's lay it flat so you can see. Ooh. It's very ethereal, uh, very fuzzy around the edges. So here we've got the legend on both sides uh, so that you have it. And it's also got an inventory sheet in there. I can see that. So that's really good. 43 colors. Let's get down to the, to the drill field. Okay, I just had a quick look and I'm not going to lie. Some of these symbols are a little difficult to read. Um, this diamond, I mean, you know that it's a cluster of diamonds, so that's okay. Um, and the percent, I don't know what it is, but it seems a bit fuzzy. But, otherwise, is that a baby E? Yeah, that's a baby E. I would say you would definitely need to get, like, a light pad for this particular painting. I will contact the company and let them know, but, um... Otherwise, there are some symbols I've never seen. Like, they have a yen symbol, uh, which is the Japanese currency. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm always on the lookout for interesting symbols. <laughs> Do you know? So, but yeah, in general, I think that this looks pretty good. Uh, but let me just consult the side. Yeah, they, they have an 8, so I immediately went to look and see if they have a B. There is no B. That's really good. Um... There is, however, a lowercase a and a lowercase e, which could be confusing, but it's okay. Other than that, let's see uh, the quality of the glue. I pulled it back here, and uh, it is it is nice and sticky. It's good. Really nice. It's got scalloped edges. This is a... It's not soft. It's like a the oil cloth, but... It is sturdy feeling. I think in general that this painting is going to look really good when it's finished, especially with the 43 colors and a relatively um, three-toned kind of painting, which is fantastic. Hi everyone, post-editing Rachel here. I am looking at this a lot differently now that I've had a chance to see the original image that this was based off of and I have a sinking feeling that this piece was made by looking at a smaller picture 
than the original. So that when this picture was then blown up to this size in the software, it didn't capture the actual details. So if I put up a picture of the original picture here again on the screen, you can see that there are very clear lines, almost like a paint by number effect that I expected this to have when I purchased it. And the leopard itself is super fuzzy. It looks like there is no definition at all. I don't know if that is true, if there isn't any definition and it's just very blurry, uh, or if it's going to look okay when the drills are placed. What do you all think? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below because in my opinion, that is not very true to what the original picture looks like and it's definitely not what I imagined that I would get when I purchased it. It had just been so long since I actually saw the original image that I thought that this was what it's supposed to look like. So yeah, let me know in a comment because I'm just curious now. Thank you. Let's have a look at these drills now. So they, they come like this, which is unusual for me these days. I don't normally get drills like this anymore, but because you see they're in these long strips, I'll show you, crinkle alert. <laughs> First of all, we have the inventory sheet with the printout of the image. There we go. So we're, I'm going to have to go through and do proper inventory on this. The way that you would do that is with these strips, these are bags of 200 drills. And so you would have to go and count. Now I'm just having a quick look at these and sadly... These drills look to have a lot of those nibs on the side as well. And get the darker colors. But you know what? It's, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I think I think that they should talk to their drill supplier because these. These drills are not a very good quality. These are the acrylic diamonds, not resin diamonds. And when they come in strips like this, I find it frustrating because one, it's a lot of plastic. Um, you could, there are drill manufacturers that will put them into Ziploc bags for you. And then that way the customer doesn't have to open a bajillion little baggies to do their diamond painting. Um, I personally don't find it satisfying. Does anybody find it satisfying to, to do that? Anyway, um, I'm going to time lapse me doing inventory for this painting and then I will be back with my final thoughts. Okay, everybody, so I've gone ahead and I've counted all the diamonds and they're all there. Um, there are some extras and where there were extras, I put like a plus one or plus two bags. Um, I believe that one of the bags of 3743 was open, um, this strain here, but I couldn't find an opening. I just found a bunch of loose drills that have fallen out of the bag. Um, so there's that. Um, I'm going to... I'll find out who the artist is because this was this was advertised, I remember, as being an exclusive design only available from Diamond Painting Factory um, because they had signed with an artist and they had different artist collections. Again, I don't I don't know what the situation might be now, so I will leave more info in the description box there down below. But um, I'll give you my final thoughts on this. I'm glad that they have poured glue. That's really cool. Um, a step in the right direction. I don't like double-sided adhesive because it gets wrinkles in it and rivers and creases. Yeah, and it's just, it's a pain. Um, so poor glue is awesome. Uh, I am a little hesitant about the rendering 
of this piece only because it doesn't look as clear as I think it's supposed to and all of the pictures that they've given me are kind of unclear so I'm not sure what this looks like if you have actually done this painting please tag me on Instagram or put it up in our Facebook group crafters anonymous with mrs. crochet and coffee and Rachel Ray I have the links down to all my social media down below please let me know if you've actually done and finished this I also believe that I spoke with the company and they were supposed to send me rounds and not squares because I knew that there was an issue with the squares and I did not want to uh, have a you know since since the last time that I purchased from them, I had a bad experience with the squares. I wanted to get rounds instead, but somehow I got squares. It's just that, you know, I'm a little disappointed because maybe there was a miscommunication there on my part. Um, and I hope that by highlighting this, I can show them that, you know, there there is actually, if you look, the edges are jagged. They have little tabs on the side, which when put together in a close proximity means that they will likely pop. They'll overcrowd and they'll pop because they're not even. And um, it's, it's just super frustrating to work with. I know that some people don't mind um, and that's fine, but I mind. And um, I think that instead of instead of using these maybe we should move forward to the small baggies or you know having the machine just dump the right amounts into each bag like the chain ones because this the like this is so frustrating it took me 10 minutes just to do the inventory and um that's a lot of plastic for the environment so uh with my spiel over i'm glad to see more diamond painting companies doing licensed diamond paintings and I am happy to support those who do. Um, I'm just speaking my opinion here. I'd love to hear your opinion down in the comment section below because that's why I do this. Um, if you're interested, I'll have the if the painting link down below if it's still available. If you are interested in purchasing it, I am happy that the most color in this painting is 550. <laughs> and that's why I chose it because 550 is that beautiful purple color so we have a strand there's a strand here of 73 73 bags of 550 amazing so guys let me know what you think down below I hope that you all have a wonderful and safe day and I will see you all soon in my next video take care everyone bye